A blessed day to all of you. I am Emma Estrolona, faculty member of the College of Arts and Sciences, University of Bohol, Tagbilaran City, Bohol, Philippines. The picture on the upper right side is the map of the island of Bohol, where Tagbilaran City is located. The local of the study is in the University of Bohol with a given GPS coordinates. The structure of the upper left part is one of the many buildings of the university, and on the lower left part is a green paradise we call Paraiso, located inside the main campus. The title of my study is Research Motivation, Engagement, and Productivity of College Instructors, University of Bohol, City of Tagbilaran, Bohol. Universities in developed countries have a strong tradition of research, recognizing research as a significant part of the responsibilities Members of the faculty of higher education institutions have consistently evidenced research productivity, together with other factors that contribute to the process of research engagement. On the other hand, universities in developing countries have retained active teaching functions and weak research functions, according to Sanyal and Vargas in 2006. As the Philippines enters another era of rapid changes and faces a dynamic array of economic, social, global, and technological forces, Chad Memo Number 52, Series of 2016, states that there is a need to enable Philippine higher education institution to optimally participate in national transformation through the production and transfer of knowledge essential to the country's engagement in the knowledge-based global economy. The Philippines Commission on Higher Education has been vigorously pushing for a stronger research orientation among higher education institutions. National Higher Education Research Agenda, formulated in 1996, clearly articulates the goals of higher education research and the mechanics and concrete steps for achieving these goals. CHED has likewise established 12 zonal research centers in the country to further promote and encourage research engagement and productivity in the 1,605 public and private higher education institutions, according to Clemenia and Acosta in 2016. The objectives of this study are as follows. Number one, to determine the level of research motivation, engagement, and productivity. Number two, to investigate the correlation of research motivation and engagement, research motivation and productivity, and research engagement and productivity. And number three, to determine the degree of variance among the six dimension of research engagement. There are four theories which this study is being anchored to, namely self-efficacy, self-determination, equity theory, and expectancy theory. According to Albert Bandura in 1977, self-efficacy is the belief in one's capability to achieve a goal. It tells us that people generally will only attempt things they think they can accomplish and would not attempt things they believe will fail. Individuals that display a sense of efficacy set challenging goals and stay committed to them. So even during failure, they manage to increase their efforts and ultimately sustain success. Meanwhile, Desi and Ryan's self-determination theory of motivation suggested that the best way to get human beings to perform tasks is to reinforce their behavior with rewards. The meat of this theory is on high quality motivation wherein people can wholeheartedly employed in something and really can have their best experience and performance. Human beings can be proactive and engaged or passive and alienated mainly because of the social conditions in which they develop and functions. According to Adams in 1965, 
Equity theory explains how people strive for fairness and justice in social exchanges or give and take relationships. He postulated that individuals expect rewards for performance to be motivated and to seek social equity. On the other hand, expectancy theory, according to Ferris in 1997, it's a cognitive explanation of human behavior that casts people as active thinking and predicting creatures in their environments. The theory proposes that an individual will perform and engage in a certain way because they are motivated to select a specific behavior over others due to what they expect the result will be. The design of the study is a quantitative descriptive using survey method with the help of a self-constructed questionnaire on respondents' level of research motivation, engagement, and their level of research productivity. The tool underwent pilot testing and was subjected to a reliability test. The obtained Cronbach Alpha of 0.798 for research motivation and 0.864 for research engagement is within the acceptability value and considered a good reliability result. Meanwhile, the inclusion criteria of the respondents are as follows. Number one, they are teaching staff or faculty members. Number two, they are regular teachers handling 24 units. And number three, they are from the 11 colleges or departments of the University of Bohol. Random sampling was done to allow all regular faculty members to participate in the study. Before the data gathering, the study has undergone a review from the Research Ethics Committee Board for the ethical standards in the conduct of the study. As to the analysis, the following were used. Weighted and composite mean, Pearson product moment correlation, and analysis of variance. Table 1 shows the scaling for the level of research motivation and research engagement with 1.0 to 1.74 for very low up to 3.25 to 4 for very high. In Table 2 reflects the level of motivation of the respondents. The composite mean of 2.91 indicates that respondents have high level of intrinsic motivation, while a composite mean of 2.28 indicates that the respondents have low level of extrinsic motivation. The college instructors are more intrinsically motivated to do research as they believe that it is their responsibility to conduct research and it will develop their research skills. The overall composite mean of 2.58 shows that the respondents have a high level of research motivation. The result affirms with a study of Karodia et al. in 2015 that investigates the role that intrinsic and extrinsic rewards play in motivating employee. It was found out that employees were more motivated intrinsically rather than extrinsic. According to Zhang in 2016, intrinsic motivation is personal, that there are people deciding desiring to work hard for the pleasure of accomplishing the task and responsibilities. Under research engagement, the top two ranks were research efficacy and teacher attitude, with a composite mean of 2.93 and 2.85 respectively, both interpreted as high engagement. On the other hand, the bottom ranks were teaching load and administration support, with a composite mean of 2.48 and 2.20 respectively, which were interpreted as low engagement. The overall composite composite mean of 2.65 suggests that the respondents have a high level of research engagement. The mean score of the respondents as to their research productivity status is 8.44 points, having an interpretation of low. Out of 104 college instructors, only 35 college instructors 
can surpass the mean score, while 69 of the respondents obtain a score below the mean. The result is a wake-up call of CHED Memo Order No. 52, Series of 2016, which mandates that the Philippine higher education institutions need to optimally participate in national transformation through the production of knowledge-based research and transfer of information through research engagement. Moreover, Cummings and Shane in 2015 stated that research engagement and productivity must be expected by the academic staff at higher education universities worldwide. To determine the correlation between research motivation, engagement, and productivity, the Pearson product moment correlation was utilized. Data revealed that there is a significant correlation between research motivation and research engagement. The result shows that research motivation is statistically correlated with engaging oneself through research. The result is an affirmation of the study of Bacall and Kim in 2016, which suggested that when multiple tasks are significant to the organization, the incentive structure must assure that each job offers professors the same marginal return on their efforts. It means that the financial incentives for research being part of the motivating factor are influential in redirecting the attention of some professors from teaching to engaging in research. Meanwhile, there is a statistically significant correlation between research motivation and research productivity. The result shows that research motivation is influential to one's research productivity. The data further revealed that there is a significant correlation between research engagement and research productivity. The result shows that research engagement influences one's research productivity. The result affirms the study of Kim and Choi in 2017 and the study of Hu Shower et al. in 2010 that factors like research resources, workload pressures, family support, and colleague support, which are part of the aspects of research engagement, all have a positive association with research productivity. To determine the significant degree of variance among the six dimensions of research engagement, ANOVA was used. The results revealed that there is a statistically significant degree of variance among the six dimensions of research engagement. To determine where the variance lies, Shifei's test was used. The result revealed a significant pairing between research efficacy and administration support, research efficacy and teaching load, administration support and teacher attitude, and administration support and family support. The highest degree of variance lies between research efficacy and administration support. According to Ben Simon in 2000, Factors that fetter research engagement includes not being taught the needed research skills while in the graduate school, conflicting priorities such as heavy amounts of teaching load and service, and lack of organizational support. As for the conclusions of this study, the faculty member in the University of Bohol College department has a high level of research motivation and a high level of research engagement. Faculty members in the 11 departments are intrinsically motivated to do research. However, they have low research productivity based on the overall obtained points. As to the correlation between the level of research motivation, level of research engagement, and level of research productivity, the R results revealed a statistically significant correlation that exists among the variables. As to the analysis of variance, there is a significant result on the six dimensions of research engagement. The result shows four significant pairings based on Shifei's test. As for the recommendations, 
a high level of research motivation and research engagement surface in this specific study. However, a need to conduct thorough training on research capacity building to improve the level of research productivity of the faculty members in the college department is highly recommended. The administration should put a stronger emphasis on their support for their teaching employees as far as research activity is concerned. The administration should provide a more efficient internet connection and better library resources that are updated to make their research engagement easier. A better monetary reward should also be given to support teachers' engagement in research. A symposium is to be conducted by the research office to adequately disseminate information about research grants, funding, and research incentives that the teachers can avail. Establish a group where college instructors can collaborate and discuss their work and review each other's manuscripts to improve research skill. Results of this study will be furnished to the human resource officer as baseline data for the research capacity building. The result of this study must be presented to the University of Bohol Union of Employees officers for further study so that the recommendations mentioned here will be considered during their collective bargaining agreement with the administration. The formulated measures is basically designed to improve the qualifications, quality, and quantity of research outputs, thereby maintaining the university status that are already accredited and making other departments qualified to apply for accreditation. Here are the references cited. Thank you very much for listening. God bless and stay safe.